Enchanting dreams and deep healing sleep are just a sleep story and guided meditation away. You're listening to The Magical Hobbit Home, a bedtime story for adults that will transport you to another realm that is timeless and full of mystique. In a healing forest, at the peak of fall, you encounter a hobbit home nestled in a grassy, leaf-covered knoll. A rainstorm moves in as you find refuge in the comforts of this dwelling. Within the magical hobbit home, the safest and most nurturing rooms of your life are reimagined. You listen to the rainfall before retreating to your most favorite bedroom, tucked within the earth and this hobbit home. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's sanctuary. I am Michelle, and I am here as your guide and travel companion. My intention is to remind you that you deserve to feel good and get cozy before sleep. Let this story be your creative voyage towards your dreaming life so you may sleep through the night and wake up restored. This moment in time is just for you, for your respite, and for restoration and healing as you unlock the magical powers of your imagination. Yes, whatever you imagine tonight may be your sanctuary and refuge. At any point in the story, you may let go of my voice if sleep calls to you, remembering that you are free to choose whatever feels best and whatever feels right. So get snug, cuddle up, and allow yourself to surrender to whatever visions and relaxation follow. Nestled in your bed, take in the deepest of breaths before sighing it all out. Wiggle, close your eyes, do whatever feels right for you as you inhale and let that breath become a great big yawn before again sighing it all out. Make a sound. Release the tension you are holding. Your muscles become like melted wax and your body heavily sinks into your bed. You feel a warm healing presence in the room with you before the room is aglow and suddenly she appears. The fairy of sleep. She appears like a twinkling orb of light and her delicate wings flap like the wings of a monarch butterfly. Delicate and kind, she gestures for you to come along. And you do, floating off your bed, your feet pedaling in the air above the floor as you join her. With a slight wave of her tiny hand, your bedroom wall becomes a circular door, concealed by shimmering silvery blue curtains that emit a sparkling cornflower blue light. They are like stage curtains Once open, they reveal splendors and settings meant to inspire. Her slender fingers pull back the curtain as she points you towards the circular door that swings open. It is a portal to another place. Before you dive into the unknown, The fairy explains you may design and change this adventure in the night, however you desire, with a reverent trust 
you pass through the door and the curtain billows behind you like an ethereal haze. You feel a warm wave of light shower upon you as you sink down, down, down into the darkness of night. The fairy latches onto your index finger with her small and surprisingly strong grip. Together you fall through the infinite space that acts as a theater for different scenes throughout history to play out. You are fluidly traveling back in time through these quick flashes and impressions. You float through your personal timeline and eras in history that came before you. Suddenly everything is existing at once in this open, unlimited space and you are timeless. And like a brush stroke on the top of a canvas, you find yourself cascading down an amber sky at day's end like a streak across the sky. Puffy dark gray clouds contrast the honey-hued warmth of the setting sun. The fairy lets go of your finger, letting you free to explore on your own. You float on your back, flying through the fresh, crisp air over a forest of trees in peak fall colors. You drift towards the earth above a metallic pumpkin-hued lake that ripples in the autumn sun. You land on the edge of the lake in a heaping pile of dry fallen leaves that are soft and pillowy. On impact, a few leaves fly above you and waft carelessly like thin rafts on the crisp breeze until they land again on the rich earth. The leaves are like a cherished tapestry in rich hues of burgundy and eggplant, sienna brown and banana yellow, bright red and orange. You smell the sweet sugars of the decaying leaves that marry the scent of rain on the way and the smoky fragrance of burning wood in the distance. You run your hands through the disheveled pile, connecting with your inner child as a smile erupts on your face. You lie down on the cushion of leaves that gently crunch beneath you and look to the tangerine skies through a canopy of fall foliage. You inhale the rich aromas and feel a lightness in your chest that comes from joy. You slowly rise from the leaves and stand, looking ahead you see a fawn and mother taking a sip of the lake water that looks like maple syrup beneath the autumn sky. A wind picks up, signaling the incoming rainstorm, and you walk on a mulch path that weaves through jewel-toned trees around the lake's shoreline. In the distance, you make out the fairy. She has returned and glows like an opal firefly against the darkening sky and silhouette of evergreen trees. Puffy clouds with dark underbellies cast the trees and lake in shade. Streaks of golden sunlight 
cut through the darkness and find your face warming you. You are adorned in your favorite outfit. The clothing and shoes you wear fill you with confidence and you feel at your best. You walk towards the fairy who continues just ahead as the autumnal trees are replaced with pine trees and rolling green hills. The clean smell of spruce purifies you with each breath and your nose tingles from the aroma and cool air. The fairy moves like a glowing hummingbird, flashing like tiny streaks of lightning. She hovers over a knoll and gestures towards you. The grassy hill rolls like emerald velvet dappled with orange and yellow and garnet wind-blown leaves. The blades of grass are thick ribbons that twist and twirl around a mysterious dwelling. You get closer to realize this is more than just a hill. It is a hobbit home. The dome-shaped home is inconspicuous, but for a trail of smoke that swirls from a stone chimney like black licorice being stretched towards the sky. There is a circular door that reminds you of the portal you entered in your bedroom wall. Healing sage and lavender plants grow on the knoll and you smell their soporific fragrance. You take in a deep breath and sigh, feeling tranquil and comforted. A fluffy white rabbit darts across the roof of the hobbit home, and the fairy takes off, vowing to return as the sun sets behind the evergreen trees and the sky becomes dark. Lightning strikes over the lake and forest and illuminates the smoky plum gray sky. There is a nip in the air and you hug yourself, ready for the warm comforts of the hobbit home. You walk towards the ivory circular door that's in the center of the hill and clasp your hand on the round brass door knocker that you push against the door to open. As soon as you do, warm air escapes and wafts over you with a most familiar smell. It is comforting and brings you back to a place in your life that nurtured your soul and mind. A place that exemplifies feelings of safety and love. You close the door behind you and are greeted by a pet. A familiar animal that you have missed greatly. The ceiling curves like a dome with high exposed beams and an openness that feels like you are inside a cave. The land above you offers a blanket of warmth, nestling you within the Earth's surface. A wood stove is burning in the back of the room as the first drops of rain begin to patter against the windows and grassy roof. These features are additions to the replication of the room that you found most safe in this life. Perhaps this room belonged to a family member or to a friend. Perhaps it was a vacation place 
or somewhere you spent the holidays. The room is to your own design and memory, with familiar textiles and furniture, with accessories that act as soft, tender reminders of a beautiful moment in your life. You suddenly find you are adorned in pajamas from the past. You feel the tiniest of pills in the fabric that formed from repeated use as you run your hand along the familiar patterns. A warmth resonates in your heart as if you are glowing from within like the embers in the wood stove. You listen to the rain patter on the home softly and reassuringly and you go to a piece of furniture that conjures memories of curling up like a cat. You run your hand along the surface before you take a seat and are joined by your favorite pet. Next to this furniture, you see a large, old-fashioned photo book. You pick it up using both hands as it is heavy and your initials are engraved on the leather-bound cover. You run your finger along the engraving and open the cover to reveal pages of your past that come to life around you. As if a dream within a dream, they are reenacted in the glow of the fire. The first page is entitled Joy. And you see the photos pop out of the book and play out like holograms. A collection of joyous experiences, special to you and your life, are now acted out before you. You cannot stop a smile from forming as you bask in joy. When you are ready, you turn the page to triumph. These photos capture your triumphs in life. The small triumphs play out before you. You see yourself learning to walk, learning to speak, learning to dance, learning to love, learning to find your own voice. In this life, you have triumphed again and again by learning and growing. You feel pride welling in your heart center, seeing memories appear in this safe and familiar room. Even when learning to walk, you fell and stood again. You see yourself trying and the beautiful resilience that is you. You turn the page to come to the journey of love. Again, the images in the book come to life. You see the faces of those you have loved. And in this space, the love flows freely. There is no fear, and you are able to take and share the greatest unfiltered love that exists and deeply connects you to other souls. The faces turn to you and grant you this moment to relish self-love, to love yourself entirely as you are, flaws and missteps triumphs and joyous occasions, all of you is loved unconditionally. And as you feel this love, you watch as the memories fade away softly, like a dream at night that comes to an end. The feeling remains, outliving the moment 
and etching itself within your mind. It is there for recall whenever you long to connect with it. The sleep fairy appears again, floating over you and your furry friend. Her presence comes with an enervating wave of sleep that makes you feel heavy and content and deeply tired. The lightning flashes outside and thunder rolls in the distance. It is met by the soothing rhythmic sounds of soft raindrops continuing to fall. The fairy waves at you to come along and you follow her towards a spiral staircase with a railing made of gnarly twisted wood. The stairs are like the roots of a tree going deep into the earth. It is warm in this underground oasis that is lit by candelabras and wall-mounted candles that flicker and create shadows on the walls. And still the soft rain may be heard as you descend into a replication of your favorite bedroom. The details are remarkable and you go back to the sensation of comforts that were found in this room. The lighting fixtures and bed, the color scheme and decorations are all as you remember them. Once again, you take in a deep breath and familiar smells invoke memories of being safely led across the bridge to your sleeping life and dreamscapes that came in this bedroom. You run your fingers along all your favorite belongings taking in the textures and colors. You recall how many nights you fell asleep with ease. Of all the places that have offered you shelter as you dreamt away, this room was the most sacred and cherished. You feel the floor beneath you Perhaps it creaks in a recognizable tone. You feel the texture and remember your bare footsteps that once landed on it at the start of a new day, after the best sleep and rest in your life. You may recall the magical dreams you had in this room when you were cared for and safe when your brain let go of all thoughts and like a switch you were taken to the wondrous embrace of deep sleep. You look to the bed fondly and note the bedding, the same color and design and textures that you remember nuzzling against. Perhaps there is a familiar object on it something soft or a favorite pillow. You go to the bed and take this object and snuggle your face against it. Once again, smelling the familiar smell that welcomed you each night and brought you to sleep. Beneath the earth in this protective hobbit home you surrender to the mysticism of the experience, timeless as it is. You feel in the dreams to come, anything may be possible. You peel back the covers of the bed, your memories wafting over you in gentle waves of sentimental feelings. You climb into the bed, and pull the covers over you. Your head sinks into the pillow, warm and safe, and tucked into a memory within a room, within a hobbit home, 
within a grassy knoll, within another realm. And yet you are still you. You are the you that has always been. Tucked in the safety of all these layers, you go deep within the layers of you to your essence that seeks rest and respite. In this familiar bedroom, you recall the safety you felt falling asleep in a different time and place in your life. And the safety finds you again and comforts you. Your body relaxes as you are ready to hunker down for the healing dreams and technicolor images that will play out on the landscape of your subconscious. The sleep fairy appears again and whispers that you are loved and you are safe. She softly flutters over you, waving her hands and spreading a magical sparkling dust that will ensure you sleep through the night. Your eyelids are heavy, as heavy as the front door of the Hobbit home that keeps you safe in this room beneath the earth's floor. Sinking deeper and deeper into the bed and into the safety you have always known in this room. I am going to count you down so you may once again float towards the healing experiences that only your mind may conjure. It may offer you all that you need, for only you know what you most need right now on this gateway to sleep, letting go of my voice. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finding peace, finding restoration. Finding healing, finding sleep, it's time to dream away, good night.